Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Police Quest in Pursuit of the Death Angel. Now, I am feeling pretty silly because, um, as you guys pointed out, I was asked to wait <coughs> by the guy in the window in the courtroom. And I didn't. I just went charging straight in after talking. But I've been told that um, there is a way we can take this. So I'm going to do that because I figured before that we, we needed something. We've got the Hoffman file, <coughs> um, but... I, I said, I think it was in the last episode, I said we, we needed some proof um, that Toselli is involved. So um, <clears throat> let's look at the clipboard. Uh, where was it? There was a, a page in here about Toselli. There, most wanted list, wanted for murder. So you guys were saying that you can actually get this, you just can't take the whole clipboard. So what I want to try doing <coughs> uh, is get page, I guess. You don't need it. Get list. Aha, tattoo of flower above left nipple. You take the FBI wanted poster. Knowing Judge Palm will find it very interesting. Right, so we needed to take the list, the most wanted list. Um, put clipboard away. Fine, so we've got score for that. So, um, let's save over this one. <coughs> we'll uh, call it um, wanted list. <coughs> so, now we've got the, the link being the tattoo and Toselli and Hoffman, right? So, I'm guessing now that we've got that, we have hard evidence that they're both the same person. I would imagine that if we'd just gone with the Hoffman file, we would be asked for proof about how um, Toselli and Hoffman are linked. Um, but now <clears throat> we potentially have that, I guess, with the FBI wanted list. Uh, let's get into the car. <clears throat> oh, of course. <laughs> of course we've got to take the keys. Okay, we'll go and get the keys, and then we'll go through. So let's let's grab the, the undercover car keys from the board, and then we'll just save over that save again, I guess. Uh, get key. Come on not close enough we are close enough get the key cool 127 out of 245 yeah so we really are approaching what i would imagine is the halfway point of the game now possibly just over halfway um because like i was saying in one of the previous ones in space quest one and two in particular um the the end of the game if you want to if you want to call it that gives you a massive dump of points um like on the final showdown or whatever so if this is the same we might be over halfway through now. So we'll do the walk around again. I, I don't think we necessarily need to do that, but just for you know consistency and, and making sure we don't do anything silly, we'll do it normal. Let's uh, save and call it um, to the court house drive. Okay. I do. I, I still think it's evil that, that they make you um, <laughs> drive out of that. A car park in space it is just a recipe for disaster isn't it all right let's just let's just make sure we're not <laughs> gonna crash into anyone coming the other way uh right courthouse is down there also it's just instinctive for me to drive on the other side of the road because obviously here in the uk we drive on the left so i sort of a veer to the left side of the road automatic oh this is green what am i doing um and then Oh, oh yeah, this is in America, so we uh, we shouldn't be doing that. Okay, that's that's it. I, th I feel like, I don't want to jinx it, but I feel like we're starting to get to grips a little bit with the parking situation with the di diagonal keys. Close the door, uh, set the speed to fast, save, we'll call it courthouse. So, this time, we're not going to go barging in we're gonna go into the courthouse we're gonna speak to the person at the little um the little area on the right over here uh i think we typed in important information before didn't we uh how do you do sir may i help you one of you guys also said that it's not it's not like a little it's, it's a mirror <laughs> we do actually look very very similar um important important information Please wait a moment, I'll send a message with the bailiff. Right, and this is the point where I waited for approximately five seconds, got impatient, and then went charging into the, the doors. So apparently, we just wait. 
So we're just going to chill here for a minute. Hopefully this isn't going to take too long. I don't know if sort of walking away from the window will... We're on fast, aren't we? We, we can go to fastest, which might, might help us out here. The bailiff says Judge Palmer will see you if you can make it quick. Go into the courtroom. Okay, fast. Let's go into the courtroom. I might, do you know what? I might just pop a save here just in case. Open door. All right, in we go. Judge Palmer strikes the, the gavel. Silence. I will consider Mr. Bonds' request. Mr. Bonds, you may approach the bench. Right, okay, there we go. <laughs> Mr. Bonds, who or what is this warrant for, says the judge. Uh, it was for murder, wasn't it, I think? Murder. What's a murder? Uh, no bail. Um, is it to Selly? Who is that? Oh, God. Um, who or what is it for? Mr. Bonds, you are keeping this entire courtroom waiting while you are attempt to establish your case all right let's not let's not hit enter just yet because i want to think about this what is it for it's for well it's not really drugs is it um uh, okay hoffman ah yes okay and what information do you have to substantiate the validity of the warrant well we've got uh hoffman's file all right, do you have any other information? Yeah, wanted list. Judge Palmer motions the bailiff to retrieve the evidence. You hand the evidence to the bailiff. Okay. So far, so good, I think. Your heart races as Judge Palmer evaluates your evidence. You think to yourself, this punk cannot go free. Oh, that sounds very ominous. <laughs> I don't like the. I don't like where this is going. Judge Palmer scans the items presented and questions. What makes you think these two men are the same person, Mr. Bonds? Right, tattoo nipple. The bailiff and court reporter squirm and choke, trying to conceal their laugh. Oh come on! While you quietly tell the judge your tale of tattoos and nipples. <laughs> All right. The judge attempts to stifle her giggles but fails. Judge Palmer whispers softly to you. Well, Mr. Bonds, it appears your friend has his tit caught in the ringer. <laughs> Stifling her laughter, Judge Palmer says, Congratulations, Mr. Bonds, your request is granted! Yes! Here is a Nobel warrant issued in the name of Jason Tasselli, alias Marvin Hoffman. Oh, we did it! Yes! Bailiff, deliver this to Mr. Bonds and escort him out. Oh, when when you figure out the right commands, it's so satisfying in these games. I mean, it is really frustrating trying to figure out what to type, but when it all comes together, such a rush. Here you are, Mr. Bonds. I hope you are not too late. Tesselli's attorney is at the jail at this very moment attempting his release. Ah, oh, what? Oh, God. So if we got to go to the actual... Um... Right, hang on. No bail issued so if we gotta go over to the the jail now uh, do we have to i'm assuming we have to drive over there as well like we can't just cross the road because it's just over the road isn't it get in close the door drive right I, I'm, I'm hoping there's not a time oh god we didn't change the game speed all right get out uh, okay let's save again uh, prison warrant uh Get out. No, 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 no. Get out. Open the door. <laughs> I feel like I'm under pressure here. I don't I don't actually know if, if we can fail if we take too long. Uh, we have got our gun, right? So let's, um, let's open the locker and put that in there. Put gun. No, not at. Put gun in locker. Locker. Okay. Close the locker. I'm assuming if you leave the locker open, somebody takes the gun press the button in we go hey sonny come over here says the jailer i have something to tell you yeah what let's uh jailer i mean the jailer sees i hope you know bonds at this very moment hoffman's lawyer is in front of the reception area bailing that worm out give warrant you hand the jailer the Nobel warrant just in time to keep Mr. Tasselli from returning to the streets. Yes. Take that, Tasselli. 
Oh man, this is great, Sonny, the jailer laughs. I hope you know this will slam the old boy's orifice shut. I'll be right back. This is going to blow his attorney's mind. Yes. 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 <laughs> Sucks to be you, Tuscelli. You've been caught, mate. Uh, what, what, what are we doing here? Are we just waiting? He disappeared to... I can't actually move, so I'm guessing we... Oh, yeah, okay. Boy, that made my day, Sonny. You should have seen the guy. He started ranting and raving like a little kid who just had his lollipop taken away. That's what I'm talking about. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Warrant issued. Uh, also, I've been asked to, to go near this guy over in the left cell, because apparently it's quite funny if you try and talk to him. Hey, man, let me out here. I didn't know it was illegal to copy discs. <laughs> talk. Hey, pig, shouts the prisoner. If you were on my side of these bars, I'd kick your mojo up between your shoulders. Okay, I don't... I don't. The man in the cell is upset by your presence here. He jeers, say, fool, if you're not my lawyer, then get out of my face. Okay, I'm not I'm not sure. Okay, I don't, I don't know if it's in the VGA version, but... Yeah, okay, so it looks like he doesn't do anything in this one. Um, I wonder if in the VGA version, the remake, whether he... Um... Like attacks you or something, I don't know. Right, open the locker. Get the gun. Move the gun. Close the locker, just for, you know, consistency's sake. It's good good practice to use all the like the proper commands and stuff, isn't it? Right. Apparently we can't do the O D C D thing as well in, in Police Quest 2, which is a bit of a shame. Um never mind. Right, uh right. I guess we go back to the station now. Uh, hang on. Normal. Drive. Okay. Back to the station we go. I mean, as as this episode goes, so far, I, f I feel like we're in a bit of a roll. I, I don't think we've died or failed anything in this episode so far. And I'm, you know, I'm hoping that I haven't now jinxed us. Because that, that's usually what happens in, in these early Sierra games. I, I make a smart ass comment about we're doing really well. I feel really good about this. And then next thing you know, we crash straight into a wall or, you know, <laughs> something like happens or I soft lock myself or, you know, so we're not we're not gonna be we're not gonna be too too cocky about it. We're just gonna enjoy this moment where it feels like this episode is going quite well. And if all continues to go well, it could be a no death episode. You know, I'm, I'm just putting that out there. Um, can we get out of the car without parking it? We can. It looks like Laura is waiting for you. You wonder what's up. Get out. Hold on, Sonny. We've got work to do. Okay. Uh, let's just put it on fast. Uh, she's getting in the car. Sonny, one of my informants just told me a drug deal is going down soon in Lytton City Park, says Laura, getting into your car. Lieutenant Morgan wants us to stake it out and see what we can do. Oh, okay. Well, in that case, let's... Well, cowboy, let's roll. Okay, well, let me just put the game speed back to normal. Uh, okay, so uh, we're on a stake out then, I guess. Stake out. Now, the question is, is Lytton City Park... I'm, I'm trying. Is Lytton City Park on the map? Look around. The Lytton Police Department is located here. I'm trying to think if I've seen a park anywhere now. There was like a big green area over somewhere on the left. I don't know if that's pollutants of the industrialised zone, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, there was a big like area over to the left of the map. I don't know if that was a park. Could potentially be. Is this the dead end road that you like die as soon as you go through? No, it's not. Okay, good. Uh, look around. <coughs> Commercialised area of Lytton. I mean, I have got the map, but the map doesn't actually show locations. <laughs> the one I've got from the game manual. <laughs> yeah, that area over to the left. Is that it? Look around. Uh, the, to the west is Lytton City Park. Yes, nice. Right, I'm starting to learn the map now, which is nice. Um, let's... Let's just save here. We'll call it stake out. Just yeah, just save over that. Right. 
cool. Okay. Let's save there. Uh, and then get out, I suppose. There is no reason to stop at this location. Look around. To the west is the entrance to Lytton City Park. Uh, okay. H how do we get into the park? Or do we literally just... I guess it said just to stake out the area. So I guess maybe we just like park up here and wait for something to happen. Uh, you key your radio, 83 Nora 10, 1020 at Lytton City Park. Yeah, maybe we just wait here for something to happen. All right then, girls, guys. Well, I tell you what, we're out of time anyway, so we'll uh, we'll leave it here. We'll see if anything happens between now and sort of the end, but I, I guess maybe not. So, good progress. We didn't die. Um, I'm very happy about that. So as always, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons: Arcades Games, Wayne, Nate, Terminally Nerdy, Paul from the Phantom Fellows, Lyle, Barry Aldridge, Hobo, Numinous, and Coomadin. And I'll see you next time. <laughs>